and welcome back to my channel. This week on the tutorial I am going to show you how to set calendar events, uh, sort of a little follow on to the little calendar tutorial I did last week. Uh, so if you haven't used calendars uh, before, uh, please tune in to uh, last week's tutorial. Uh, for this week, to set calendar events, first we're going to have to go into favorites, which is up here in the upper left, uh, click on the star, and then you just go down to calendar events and click on that. And you'll see here that I have several calendar events that I've already set uh, for my reports. Um, these are basically uh, when I launched videos, and I wanted to see uh, when I launched a specific video um, if it had any um, correlation with um, traffic or anything on, uh, on my site. So that's the reason I did it that way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Add New. And let's say uh, for last week I launched uh, my uh, calendar uh, tutorial uh, video, so I'll call it that. And the event happened last week. Uh, usually populates this with the current date. Uh, and if it's not a current date, you can always just kind of open it up in here and say, oh, it happened on the 16th. And uh, primarily, it just kind of sticks it for one day. But if you have an event, let's say you have a campaign that runs for a week and you wanted it to go from the 16th to the 23rd, uh, you could actually set your uh, event in that uh, fashion as well. And it would be uh, for the duration of that time period. But for uh, this particular tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with October 30th, which is when my calendar tutorial video uh, was added to my website. And then uh, you can uh, d decide which report suite this um, displays in. And for uh, my purposes, you know, it really is only uh, relevant to my uh, report suite. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it only displays with my report suite. Um, and then there's, uh, you can put some notes in here. So if you have anything that you wanted to add additional information, uh, you can say that here, um, added uh, video to website, you know, so whatever that makes sense. And then you can choose your display icons. So the shape of the icon and the color. And I tend to always use the diamond and the green. And that's basically all you do is you click save. And here is the uh, the event that's displaying. And then all I have to do is, let's say we run a, run a report. And here is the date right here. And we'll just look at the whole year. And you can see where my other events um, are displaying on this report. So you can see where. Um, I had uh, that uh, video added to the site, and I had these, and then I actually had other videos here. I just haven't reported events for those yet. But, you know, it's very nice if you have um, a specific event uh, that you're doing, a campaign that you're launching, a redesign of your website, you know, anything that might be significant. That, let's say you discover that um, Oprah Winfrey talks about your book um, and your website on her, on her show, and all of a sudden you get a big spike in traffic, and you didn't realize um, that it was uh, because of Oprah Winfrey until three months later. Well, you could still go in and put a little event in there saying Oprah um, endorses our website or something as, as your event, and to explain the spike in traffic. So anyway, that is what uh, the events are and how you set them. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, thumbs up this video if you found it useful. And uh, until next week, take care. Bye-bye.